Celebrating 25 years, more than 10 minutes here on More 94. You know, listen, many morning after is definitely on your dials. And yes, we are talking about the lockdown and how people are feeling during this lockdown and, uh, you know, frustration. Some people understand it in a sense. Uh, but right now, I'm going to stick a pin in that conversation. Unless Jerome wants to weigh in on it a little bit. But it's all about the sideline sports report right now. Good morning, Roman. What's good, bro? Hey, good morning, good morning, Bob. Good morning, Bob. This is Sideline Sports and Entertainment Bob. Turn your stories from the sidelines and the headlines here only on more than four by nine of Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this lovely, well, you know what? It's a lovely lockdown Tuesday. Yeah, I got to hop into this morning. We had all me. Yeah, so yeah, I got all you. Talking about waiting on the lockdown. Yes, my fellow inmate. How, how do you feel about this lockdown <laughs> and, and the restrictions that were tightened? And now placed on everybody here in the Providence. Uh, you know, there are other islands on lockdown as well, but I, I think the, the stricter uh, lockdown has now been placed on New Providence in an effort to curb the surge and flatten the, the curve as best as we can. Um, you know, there is some there is some method behind the madness, I guess. But how do you feel about, about the lockdown, especially the immediate lockdown? Um, okay, so my first, my... And these are just totally my personal opinions. Um, one is, I think at this point, the extreme lockdown, um, I, I just think it's just ineffective. Um, one of the things that I'm, the, the first thing that I thought about was like, okay, after this week lockdown, next week, Monday and Tuesday are going to be extremely crazy. Uh, and then second of all, <laughs> and I know this might be kind of a pessimistic way to look at that, but I think it was like, hey, at the restrictions, we weren't listening before, right? So, what, think by tightening the restrictions, we can listen? Yeah, better listen. Don't get locked up on slot or yeah, jail hot this kind of time of the year, you know. Yeah. Yeah, August is a hard time to be locked in a cell with six people. Don't play with that. No one mess with that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 stay great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll tell you what, you know, this is how I feel about lockdown. Seeing that the NBA put off started about what a god game today. Yeah. And, it's some good entertainment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it and it, it's basically every day too, so you you get to enjoy yourself a little bit through the through the day. Any time after you have a ball? Hey, All right, man. What's good, though? Baltimore's already a pretty good team, and Des, uh, it'll be very interesting. I, he might sink, though. I think Des would do good with the Ravens and that style of play. Because yeah. if you if if you have to be worried about uh, what's the what's the quarterback's name again? Um, oh man, Lamar Jackson. If you have to worry about Lamar running or Des running, like you ain't sure which one of them might take off and go. That that's a lot for the defense to be concerned about, bro. Because if he fakes you out, if he fakes you out and Demar decides to run, like. Yo, that, that uh, it might play. It might be a good play. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you said, it's, it's got to be interesting. I don't know. I'm still going to guess a lot of thoughts about if we make it our turn. Even though he, well, if he does return, he's going to be suspended for the first eight games of the season. <laughs> so, yeah. But again, definitely look to see what happens every week with, um, with Daz Bryant. Now, on to some news from the NBA, just like you said. Now, we got the playoffs started yesterday. 
the, the first set of games. We got the Jazz and Nuggets. The Nuggets came out with the win, 135 to 125. Um, also, the Raptors over the Nets, man. Fred Van Fleet. Oh, yeah, big yeah. game from Van Fleet. Yeah, man. He put on a three point limit last night. Um, yeah, you know something? Uh, I don't know what happened, but since Edwards was the birth of his kid, he has been on. Wow. Yeah, something to prove, man. Something to play for. Some motivation. Yeah, like you need that in your life. And then again, everybody kind of the Raptors out, bro. I'm pretty sure people, people like their coaching, the management, the owners, they drilled in their head like, y'all, not, don't only do this for the team or do it for yourselves. Prove to everybody that you deserve to be on an NBA team. And I think every player goes out there and and plays team ball to prove that they deserve to be on an NBA team. And they're doing it, bro. Like. The, the Raptors are an exceptional team this year, and, uh, mm. and I'm glad they, they shouldn't be counted out. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, I just, I, I, you know what? I silently, I think they, they, they might be coming out of the East, man. I, I kind of, not that I counted them out, but yeah, uh, that's I, a big statement now. That's a big one. <laughs> big, I'm to go crazy, but that's, that's in the big. I, I hear you, but I yeah. know, I don't know. Uh, seven, uh, seven games against Milwaukee. I don't see that happening. Yeah, hey, we can see. We can, we, we can definitely see. Um, the other two games from yesterday, the Celtics over the 76ers, 109 to 101, and the Mavericks and the Clippers, 118 to 110, the final score. They have the Clippers coming out on top. But, um, yeah. I, I actually watched that game, right? Uh-huh. And I'll be honest, Mavericks, mm-hmm. Mavericks, Mavericks might have Clippers number, bro. Why? Like, yeah. got kicked out of the game pretty early on what's not, and, yeah, and the Mavericks yeah. still had their own tremendously yeah. throughout that game and Luca is a piece. Yeah, so, man. Yeah. I was watching that, like, last they, night. like they're gonna get him hard, man. They're gonna yeah. this, that's gonna be a really good series. Yeah, 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 man. Definitely one to watch. So the NBA score or I should say the games lined up for today. Starting at one thirty folks. So folks, hey, I know it's gonna be a little stressful, but hey, we got some NBA playoff games. Starting at 1.30, the first game is the Magic and the Bucks. Um, at 4 o'clock, we have the Heat and Pacers. At 6.30, you got the Thunder and the Rockets. And later on, late the late night game at 9 p.m. is, of course, the Trail Blazers and the Lakers. That's gonna definitely going to be a good one to watch as well. So those yeah. last two games out of the West are definitely going to be good to watch. Yeah. Those last two, those last two, they're gonna, they're definitely going to be good games to watch. Yeah. Um, I, I feel the like East, alright, but those last two games are they're going to be tough competition, man. I'm I'm looking forward to that. All right, Romy, uh, thank you for our update today. Of course, we'll talk this again tomorrow. Get the updates from the scoreboard and a whole lot more yeah. whatever's happening in the world of sports. You be safe on lockdown. Don't wait. <laughs> them, don't call it through one number on Slack. That's what we're only. Y'all, y'all are blocking that up and people can't get through. So y'all don't, don't waste don't waste the people's time on three one one. All right. Keep it up, Dr. Man. Talk with the Bahamas Superstation. We can take it into a quick commercial break when we get back. We roll officially into nine o'clock hour. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna blaze out some more music real quick, and then we're gonna get into that break and roll into nine o'clock hour. Man, it's Bahamas Superstation. Morning, two minutes on more ninety four. <laughs> 